I can sometimes feel like a failure and I can sometimes feel like, you know, I'm not worth anything. Sometimes I can feel like I'm, I'm not doing things right. And I feel like quitting or giving up. I remember when I was uh, even just a child and then in grade school, I uh, I was the fat kid and I would be the last kid picked in all the uh, sporting events. And then when I was in junior high school, I thought I was a good singer and uh, I didn't get picked for the glee club. And I can remember all these experiences that we all go through in life where we find out that our expectations don't get met. And I've thought about that so often that it's through these kinds of experiences that often we discover that what we think is going to happen and what is actually happening starts to play with our understanding of who we start to create in our head who we are and it starts to play with our emotions and we can find ourselves thinking wait a minute i'm not a valuable person and then if we're not careful we start to act in a way that can become destructive and we devalue ourselves But you see, what we need to do is go back to where the real truth is and start to understand who we really are and get the definition from another place. And the truth is that we can never have a positive life with a negative mind. So we have to go to the real beginning of where the truth is. And the truth I've discovered is in the Bible. And the verse that I've discovered works for me is the one that says, I am a masterpiece. And I want to share it with you. The Bible says we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us a long time ago. That's in Ephesians 2.10. And in the Amplified Bible, it says to live a good life, which he prearranged and read made ready for us. God has a plan for me to live eternally, and it's all pre-planned good for me. You see, I am created, you are created for a good, positive, happy life. That's the exciting news today is that we aren't created for failure. We aren't created for anything except to live this wonderful experience. Jesus said that he came to bring us abundant life. See, that's exactly opposite of what many people actually think today. There is a new beginning no matter what. If you're listening right now, if your heart is beating, if you can hear us talk, there's a new beginning. Jesus said that, you know, you can start over. It doesn't matter what's happened. You know, your handprint, your fingerprint, it's the only one that's ever existed, never before, never again. And that handprint is meant to leave an impression that only you can leave. You're a masterpiece. You are one of a kind. You're an eternal being. You are precious. You are valuable. And like we've talked about all through the broadcast, Don't compare with anyone else because there will always be somebody with a bigger something, a better something. Somebody will always have a bigger er. Somebody will be prettier. Somebody will be richer. Somebody will be smarter. Somebody's child will be better in your opinion. We can't look to the left or the right. The hardest person I'll ever lead is myself. The hardest person to be in charge of is the girl on the other side of the mirror. 
the one who I'm the hardest on is the one I look at every day. Often I found myself thinking, if the person came to me who needed help and I was chatting with her and she brought the problem to me that I was having myself, what would I say to her? And I would often be more kind to the woman coming to me with the problem than I am to myself. I beat myself up harder than I would to the girl who comes with the problem. I encourage you today. You can begin again. It's not a coincidence that the people in the scripture put their problems on display and God uses those stories to let us know that you don't have to be perfect to be used by him. I've been married 47 years. It's not perfect. I'm a mom, not perfect. I'm a friend. I've made mistakes. We all make mistakes. But the wonderful thing about Jesus is that he takes us just the way we are. And he says, come unto me. And today, you're worth it. No matter what, no matter where you've been, it's never too late to begin again. And you today, my dear friend, have it in yourself to start over because you're worth it. And I'm so grateful today that we have a chance to tell you that Jesus loves you and that you are part of the plan for eternity. Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.